Welcome to Good Day Dixie. I'm your host, Erin Allred, and I was gonna have a guest host with me today, Devin Dixon, because he challenged me the other day to a little event that's coming up, the Longest Drive Championships out at Coral Canyon, and I think he got scared and didn't wanna come in today because he's intimidated. Me and him are going head to head this weekend at the Longest Drive Championship out at Coral Canyon. So make sure you check out that website and come watch us. I've been lifting, I've been getting ready for the whole thing, and um, I think he's a little intimidated. So Devin, if you can hear me, you should have showed up today. I know you're a little intimidated by my longest drive abilities, but maybe next time we'll catch him on the show. But even though Devin's not here, I have some exciting guests that are coming on the show just a little bit later, but first we're gonna get to the Dixie Dozen. And those of you who watch the show know exactly what the Dixie Dozen is. It's the 12 things in Southern Utah that you need to know. So we're gonna start out with number one. Number one is the Utah Summer Games. Now they've been going on now all month, they're continuing throughout the month, and most of them are in Cedar City, some are in St. George, and there's a whole bunch of really interesting events in the Summer Games, some events that maybe you aren't familiar with. Like for example, they have bass fishing, they've got bowling, boxing, and my personal favorite, they have sailing and they have Wild West shooting like gun shooting, and I had to look this up because I thought, okay, what is this Wild West shootout type of thing? I mean, obviously, I have this mental picture of what I think it is, and it's actually pretty close to what I was thinking. Um, you get dressed up in Wild West out outfits, hats, boots, gloves, the whole get up, and you have a gun that's for that period in time, and you shoot targets. So this is a really interesting thing um, in the Utah Summer Games. There's many, many more that maybe you weren't as familiar with, so definitely go check out the Utah Summer Games. Check out their website. Don't miss that. It goes through the end of the month. Um, also, number two, movies in the park. And I talk about these all the time for two reasons. One, they're free. And who doesn't love free? I certainly love free. And two, um, it just helps support our community and get to know people in the community. They have them in two different places here in southern Utah. They have movies in the park in St. George and in Washington. And the ones that are coming up in St. George, that's called Sunset on the Square. They've got, on July 9th, they're showing Ants right downtown. And on July 23rd, they're showing a movie called The Fly Boys. And that movie was actually filmed right here in St. George. So if you're gonna go to one this month, definitely go, or next month, go to the July 23rd Fly Boys. You'll see lots of familiar places to you right around your hometown. Check that out for sure. Number three, this is another thing that's free, Concerts in the Park. And there's two coming up here um, in July. We have, and they're at Vernon Worthen Park, so remember that. We've got um, the Patriotic Concert by Sherry Peterson, and that's on July 12th. And then we've got the Shapiro Project, and they're playing August 9th, and they're a jazz quartet. So this is free, it starts around 7.30ish, um, kind of about when it gets dark, so go check those out. Number four, this is something close to my heart. I'm really interested in Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Several years ago I wrote a book about them, and I was not aware, but right here in Beaver, they have an, an annual Butch Cassidy Festival. And the 10th annual festival is coming up on July 2nd. It's in Beaver again. And um, something even more interesting than learning about Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid to me is they have a meatball cook-off at this event. So go check that out. If for no other reason, they're cooking five pounds of meatballs and you get to taste them. So go check that out. Number five, um, the 4th of July is coming up, and, and every town around in southern Utah has their own celebration, but um, the celebration here in St. George takes place on the 3rd and the 4th. And they've got a whole bunch of interesting things. You can check out um, the city of St. George's website, but the things, uh, we have Zumba, the Latin ladies, and I've had them on my show. They're really close friends of mine. They're performing at the 4th of July con um, festival at 9.30 a.m on the 3rd, right downtown, and right after that, which I think is fitting, they have a hot dog eating contest. So go do a little bit of Zumba, and then you can sign up for the hot dog eating contest, and you will have burned off all the hot dogs you're about to eat before you even eat them. So go check out all of that stuff that's going to be happening in St. George on the 4th of July. Number six, and this has been all over the place, Tuacon. It's a, it's a great place, just so close to home. They are showing Tarzan. So go check that out at Tuacon. You can check out their website. Don't miss that. It's playing all month long. 
Number seven, uh, kind of along the same lines, the Neil Simon Festival, and it's also in Cedar City, is coming up. It's through July 15th. It's July 15th through August 14th. And um, they are showing all sorts of Neil Simon plays, Steel Magnolias, uh, the list goes on and on. So go check out their website, neilsimonfestival.com. Learn more about that. It's right here. It's really an interesting thing. Um, number eight, and this is something I've talked about a lot. Um, right here in St. George, we have some amazing artists, and we have art all over our city. If you travel through downtown St. George very much at all, you'll see these wonderful pieces of art all over the place. And those pieces of art are actually for sale. But you don't have to buy them to enjoy them. You can just walk around the city. You can check out everything that, that's around. It's called artaroundthecorner.org is the website that you go check out. And they have all sorts of really neat things. They tell you about all the art pieces. They tell you how you can buy them if you would like to. And there's even a little um, icon that you can click on for kids, which I thought was really cool. And there's frequently asked questions that maybe your children will ask about the art. Um, go check that out, download the map, travel around the city and check that out. It's right here in our backyard, beautiful art. Number nine, and this is kind of um, just an interesting thing that I found recently. We're all looking to save a buck, and I found this website. It's called freebies.org, and it shows you all sorts of coupons and places that you can get or mail-in orders that you can get things for free. And I checked it out this morning, and right now they've got um, sunshine lotion and, uh, from Bath and Body Works. You can get that for free. They have everything from uh, diapers for kids, uh, clothes, just the laundry list goes on. Go check it out, um, freefreebies.org. It's definitely worth seeing and, and it, everything is on there. So get something for free, we all love that. Number 10, I talk about the Roadrunners all the time. I've had people from the dance team to uh, players on the team and Eric Dodge, who's also associated with the Roadrunners because they have Eric Dodge Night coming up on June 28th. So check out the Roadrunners website to find out all of the games, when they're coming up, when they're here. It's relatively inexpensive. It's a great family entertainment. Go to Eric Dodge Night. And Eric's been on our show as well, and he gave me some copies of his CD. And you can go check out our website, gooddaydixie.com, and find out how to win a few of his CDs in honor of Eric Dodge Night at the Roadrunners, June 28th. Also, Amberly Snyder Night's coming up June 30th. And on the ninth is, is another game, so another home game that you can go check out. So go to their website, check out their games. Number 11, Pioneer Days. Ivan City has a big Pioneer Days celebration. Um, they've got a pancake breakfast, flag raising ceremony, a parade, tons of activities in the park. Ivan's beautiful place, really, really close to St. George. Go check out um, Ivan City's website to find out more information about the Pioneer Day Festival there and go support that, it's great family entertainment. And finally, number 12, uh, we have a Gunlock Rodeo coming up July 1st. Now, and this is, this is a historical, old-fashioned rodeo. Take your kids, it's, it's amazing to see. I have an uncle that does team roping, and my six-year-old just is obsessed with it and wants to go all the time. He asked me if we could get a goat the other day. So I will not be getting a goat, but I will be going to the Gunlock Rodeo so that my son can be around goats. How about that? Um, you can find out more about that. Santa Clara City website has information about the Gunlock Rodeo. It's just out at the fairgrounds, and it is on July 1st. So there is your Dixie Dozen, everything that you need to know here in Southern Utah for the week. And I'm excited to welcome my guest here in just a minute. I have a special guest, her name is Paula Adams. And when I heard about her, I had to have her on the show because she does something that I have never even heard of someone making kind of, and I wouldn't even say that it's her hobby because she actually makes quite a bit of money at this, but she enters and wins sweepstakes and she has created a club here in St. George where she will teach you how to win money and prizes and all sorts of different things through sweepstakes. She also donates a lot of her winnings to um, different local charities, which she's gonna tell us about here in a minute. But I think she told me that this, this year alone, she's already won um, $5,000 in cash, along with all sorts of other prizes. But I'm excited to welcome her right after the break.